Budget notebooks like the Aspire 3 are the backbone of the market, as its many incarnations sell like hotcakes, making for the bulk of the profits for the Taiwanese manufacturer. Can it be your next device? Today we're answering that question. To keep a lower price point, the Aspire 3 comes in a plastic chassis. The design is minimalistic with only a tiny Acer logo on the lid, while the finish on the surfaces feels good. On the other hand, durability is far from great, as both the lid and the base flex like crazy. The more force you apply, the scarier it gets, so be careful. The plastic keeps the laptop light, with a weight of only 1.78 kg and a profile of 19.9 mm. What's startling is that the lid can be opened with one hand. The rubber feet on the back work as a lever, so the base is slightly off the ground, so there's extra air going to the cooling. On the base, the keyboard does a good job, as the long key travel and clicky feedback, leading to a decent typing experience. Sadly, there's no backlight. The touchpad has a smooth surface and a large size while being responsive enough for a budget device. Going to the input-output, the left side houses the power plug, a LAN port, an HDMI connector, and two USB Type-A 3.2 generation 1 ports. On the other side, there's one more USB Type-A port and a 3.5mm audio jack. The display isn't anything special, but it fits the laptop. The Full HD IPS panel has great viewing angles and a decent max brightness of 296 nits. While it only covers 56% of the sRGB color gamut, it's not really needed for a budget machine. If you're getting the laptop for studying and whatnot, our display profiles can help you, especially our office work profile, which makes texts more legible, in case you're typing your fingers off every day. We'll have them linked down below. The speaker setup is found on the bottom, and it's not very good. There are deviations across the entire frequency range, while the max volume is pretty low. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. The Aspire 3 can be found with the Core i3-1215U, Core i5-1235U, or Core i7-1255U. We tested the Core i5 and it does a great job, performing similarly to the VivoBook 15 with the same CPU while being better than the HP 255G9 with the Ryzen 5 5625U. The CPU also doesn't need a chunky cooling setup to work properly, as one fan and a heat pipe do just fine. In the stress test, the Core i5 is able to maintain a TDP of 40 watts for around half a minute, which is pretty good, while settling at 28 watts in the long run. This also means that it will be able to handle P-Series CPUs if they are ever offered. Comfort is okay, as the single fan remains quiet, while the keyboard is kept cool as well, thanks to the exhaust vent being far away from it. The battery could have been bigger, with Acer offering only a 43 watt hours unit. It lasts for 7 hours and 24 minutes of web browsing, or 5 hours and 47 minutes of video playback, so you better bring the charger with you. Thankfully, it's rather small so it won't add any noticeable bulk to your bag. On the other hand, Acer kills it with upgradeability, offering two SODM slots for up to 64GB of DDR4 memory, as well as two M.2 slots. Only the one on the right works with the faster generation 4 drives, so keep that in mind. We'll leave our teardown video down below, which shows how to open up the Aspire 3, for when it's time to upgrade. The Acer Aspire 3 is a classic budget laptop. It doesn't have any fancy features or gimmicks, however, it gets most stuff right, which is enough to warrant a recommendation. The hardware inside performs well and runs cool, while the storage and RAM are replaceable, so what's more to ask? If you want to know even more about the Acer Aspire 3A31559, we have a separate review on our website, 
which goes in further detail. 